Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, whether you're relatively new to cord cutting or a seasoned veteran of keeping money out of the cable company's pockets, you probably heard of the On 4K streaming box from Walmart. Now, the latest version of this streaming device was released in 2023. It came with Google TV, but only 8 gigabytes of storage space for apps. By the time you add up the built-in system files and the pre-installed apps that you can't do anything about, you're lucky to be left with two or three gigs of storage available for adding all of your favorite apps. That won't last you very long, unfortunately, and if you even come close to running out of space, you're asking for trouble. Best case, your apps won't work right, and worst case, you'll brick your device and have to start from scratch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an external USB drive and format it for system storage so you can add all the apps to your heart's desire. I'll bring you through it step by step, easy peasy, no muss, no fuss, no greasy aftertaste. So if you're ready to see how you can expand the storage of your on 4K streaming box from Walmart so you can install virtually unlimited apps, grab your remotes and let's go. All right, so before we get started, I wanna show you basically how to set this up and what you're gonna need. This basically is the, the standard setup, the way you would you know get it out of the box and hook it up. You have your power adapter, you plug it into the only spot that it fits onto uh, the device, and then you would, you know, have your HDMI cable go into your TV. Well, what we are gonna to need to add are two devices. One of them is this OTG cable. I'll put a link in the description below for both of these things. But this is an OTG cable that allows you to split that power uh, source and provide you with a USB port to connect this USB drive. Now, I suggest using a well-known uh, name brand USB drive. This is a SanDisk 64 gig drive. I'll put a link in the description for this. This is one that I've tested on, you know, Fire Sticks, on Google TV and Android TV devices, and it works great. This, as I said, is a 64 gig drive. So we're gonna we're not gonna use this quite yet, and I'll tell you when the time comes in the video. But what you do here is you disconnect briefly the power cord from the on box, and you take one of the and the only uh, connection that fits into that spot onto the device. And then you would take your power adapter and plug that into the other end of the OTG cable. And then you would go ahead and power it up, connect, you know, obviously your HDMI cable to your TV again. Don't yet plug the USB port into that yet. The time will come and I'll tell you when to do that. So now let's go ahead and get started. I'll fire it up and we'll take it from there. All right, so here I am on the freshly booted up on 4K streaming box from Walmart. I've just plugged it in and powered it up. In fact, I did more than that. I factory reset this. So it effectively is exactly like it would be out of the box if you just bought it. In fact, when you're adding this USB system storage to this device and you're gonna move all of your apps, all of the existing apps to it, I recommend starting from scratch, starting from a freshly factory reset device. The reason for that is later on, after you've already added some apps, some of them have been running, there, there's a certain amount of cache and you know a certain amount of um, you know, memory and so on that's used up by those apps, you could run into some issues and you might get an error message when you try to move um, all of your apps to that storage. So it's generally better and easier uh, to do this from the start. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So let's go ahead and hit the gear on the remote and then go ahead and click on that. And so now we're gonna to wanna to go down to system. Now under system, there are a couple of settings in developer options that we need to set. And if you can see here in system, there is no developer options at, on a factory um, fresh device. So to get developer options, we need to go into about and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see Android TV OS build. Now here you're gonna wanna hit this little select button in the middle of the circle seven times and when you do watch what happens it says three two one more it says you are now a developer so now when we go back a step and go into system you will see on the list now you'll see developer options and that's where we need to go in and check a couple of settings and make sure that they are set correctly make sure this is checked and then all the way down at the bottom the second to last setting says force allow apps on external this says makes any app eligible to be 
written to external storage regardless of the manifest values. Those values that they're talking about are, you know, settings that the developer of the app um, puts in into their code that will sort of force um, or really require that those apps be installed on internal system storage and not um, like external USB storage like we're doing here. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and select this, but that being said, um, some apps will work great on external and some won't. And it's a bit of trial and error. In fact, um, some people say that, you know, apps like, you know, TV Mate and Kodi Media Center and IP Vanish or other VPNs uh, shouldn't be on external. Um, I've kind of had mixed results. Um, I've, I've been able to work um, quite well with some of these on these SanDisk USB drives without a problem. But uh, in general, some of those apps maybe should be on internal. But again, it's trial and error. Put some comments down below. I'd really like to hear from you um, on what your experiences are if you've done this already and how you feel about putting certain apps on external versus internal system storage. So anyway, now that we've selected this, now let's go ahead and hit the home button. And now we're ready to actually plug in the USB drive. I have my OTG cable here ready with my usb drive and let's go ahead and plug it in and watch the display it should prompt us it says here issue with usb drive this is fully expected it's not broken or anything the reason for this is this is a 64 gigabyte usb drive it's sandisk again link in the description but because it's bigger than 32 gigs, it's most likely formatted in a XFAT or some other file system. And for Android or Fire TV, for that matter, all these different devices, they require FAT32 uh, file systems. So that's why you're getting that message. So do what it says. Hold in the home button for a moment, and you'll see there it says issue with USB drive, and click on that. So you'll have an option here that says set up as device storage. And so you want to go ahead and click on that. So it will tell you right here, it's a pretty strong warning. This requires the USB drive to be formatted to make sure it's secure. After securely formatting, this drive will only work with this device. And most importantly, it says formatting erases all data currently stored on that drive. So if you're reusing this USB drive from anything else, you may have had some pictures on it or whatever, you will want to um, back those up and put those someplace else. So now let's go ahead and select format. Now, depending on the size of the drive, this could take a little longer. This is a 64 gig drive, so I'm going to imagine it might take a minute or two. I'm going to pause the recording and pick it up on the other side, just to so you don't have to watch this thing going across the screen for a while. Moments later. All right, so when it gets done, you're going to see this message. It says move data to USB drive. It says that you can select move now to move your photos, files, and apps data to USB drive. This will take a few minutes. Some apps won't work correctly during the move. What I recommend doing here is not to pick move now. I suggest clicking move later. And the reason for that is, like I said, some apps don't really work all that well on USB, some do. So that trial and error process I was telling you about is probably better if you do it this way. So hit move later. And so it's effectively not gonna do anything. So when you want to move an app or move more than one app to the external uh, USB system storage that we just set up, Go into the gear and now move down to apps. And let's say we want to move, for example, uh, Disney Plus. If we go into Disney Plus, it says here storage used 76 megabytes on internal shared storage. When you click on storage used, you'll have the option here to move that to USB storage. And go ahead and click on that. It'll take just a moment. And now it will say storage used 76 megabytes on USB drive. And you could do that for any of the apps that you have on your device, or if you install a new app on the device. So let's, let's actually do that. Let's just go ahead and install any random app here. This one's fine. Install. Roku channel is pretty amazing. You want to check that out in your spare time. So what I'm demonstrating here is any app that you install from this point on should install on the uh, USB drive. So now that that's installed, let's go over to the gear and go into there, go into apps, and let's find the Roku channel, and let's see where I put it. And Roku channel, as it says here, storage used, 17 megs on the USB drive. 
So there you go. Now, let's just say hypothetically, if this Roku channel app doesn't work well on the USB drive, you can quickly and easily change that back to internal. So let's go ahead and click on storage used, and then you can change that up to internal shared storage. And that will take you just a moment. And now it says internal shared storage. <laughs> So there you go, a nice short and easy video on how to add USB storage to your on 4K streaming device from Walmart with Google TV. If you have any questions, please go ahead and put some down there in the comments below. I'll be glad to get back to you. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Alive videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.